the what is it the Florida Joker or the Miami Joker? Yeah, um, Joker. Yeah, Florida Joker. They had the guy. They had the lady that had the two hammers, which that ended a little bit different than the game because she got put in a headlock on the real video. I watched the video. Yes, I can send it to y'all. So you never know, she might get put in a headlock in the game too. Oh, that'll be dope. Oh my God, it's Wicks, Wicks. Oh my God, it's 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 Wicks. Wicks. What's happening, everybody? This is the OMG is Wick Show, episode 23. Yeah, 23. This is Jordan. This is our Jordan number. This is our Jordan number. But that's I'm a sign? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> all the cross, you know, all the cross, the boy, you know. I mean, you know, he's still not my GOAT, but 23. Can we, who else 23? I guess we're going to have to roll with Jordan, but yeah. OMG is Wicks. Um, I got my co host, both of them. We made it happen, y'all. <laughs> I, I went out on the mission. We made it happen as a team, but go ahead, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Manny Knox. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. This is great. We woke up. We're alive. <laughs> can't complain. Happiness is happiness. Love is love. And I'm here. I'm just excited. Oh I can't God. wait. I'm going to kick it off to a great person. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know why I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I'm nervous, too. I'm nervous. <laughs> it's Lena Slim. We in this <laughs> Lena Slim. <laughs> See, y'all don't know, before the show, before we started the cameras, Manny already started with Lena. I'm already crying. So we don't really know what's about to happen, so we're all, as a group, going to find out this as we go. Uh, but uh, Manny, you want to get something off your chest before we... Yeah, I'm going to ask questions. You guys can answer it. We'll go from there. Okay. So yeah, I have a bad memory. I just know the feelings I feel. So how did this start when... Uh, the whole yoga thing brought up. Did I ask what time we doing this today? And then you said, and then then she said what she said about the yoga. Is that how? Do you remember kind of the timeline? She said, "Are we meeting at noon?" Uh -huh. And then everybody said, "Yeah." And, and then, then what? Wait, wait, and then Lena, what did you say after that? I said, "I need you to do yoga before <laughs> our session." So why you said that? Like what? Why you said that? Because last week I feel like you were a little hostile, and I feel like you needed some positivity. So I thought yoga will make you feel better. Refresh my memory because I have bad memory. What about last week was hostile, like that you thought was hostile? Um, if you see the clips, there was a lot of <sighs> <sighs> and the eye rolling and stuff. Like I felt it, and I like since I care about you, I gave uh -huh. you advice of what to do True. so that you could be in a more positive light. Because okay. you hurt our feelings. Because we were trying to help you get a fan club. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you start yelling at us. And all I remember saying, she did nothing. <laughs> yeah, She's done zero. And I'm sending it. Like, I'm innocent. Like, but, I, we shouldn't be like this towards each other. Well, that wasn't towards you. I was That was me yelling at somebody else. But I was telling you about who I'm yelling at. That wasn't you. And then I'm like, oh, you oh, no, did therapy. You. And I was oh, like no, really proud. You. Like I wasn't mocking yeah, you. I was excited yeah. that you've done therapy with your ex. And yeah. I'm like, oh, you did therapy. And you looked at me. With a, you, you had the, the side eye. And you're like, oh. you're like I'm not even going to get started, bro. <laughs> I'm just. And then you was like, she want me to be Gordon Ramsay. I will say that that was the loudest I've seen you in a while. Like you were passionate about that. I had a little pain like right here. You heard our feelings last year. Yeah, there. it was a little I pain. I don't know why your feelings were hurt. I <laughs> kind of understand her feelings were hurt, but you I don't understand. This is so this is what triggered me. It's like why why can't be upset? What's wrong with being upset? Well if we're trying to help and then you're upset and we're trying to find a, a central place where peace exists. By but, trying to help you get a fan. Club. But you have to be upset sometimes. You have to let it out. So sometimes, if we're talking yeah. about something that's triggering, you have to be I upset agree. at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Well, now, if I'm upset about it 24 hours, that's a different story. How long were you upset about it? Uh, right when we were done, like when the camera turned off, I was you over was, it. You was good. Oh, yeah, you were chilling. over it. Okay. Yeah. So, but, but okay, the, the golden question. Mm -hmm. Did you start getting people on the fan club? On your Instagram, did they start hitting you up? I like how you're being specific. One person said they're my fan club. But they're not really on my fan club. They, they even said, I don't really be on Instagram much, so good luck. Did they start following you? Yeah. That's not a fan. I feel like we did our job. Is there? Have you ever followed somebody and then never went back to look at their stuff? Not me. Oh, I have plenty of times. But anyway, and if you think pops off, pops off. Anyway, I say that to say this. Like, this week, I, I had an annoying week. Mm. I have this opinion about life. I, we've talked about it, and you agreed. When there's always a common denominator, then most likely the problem is you, the common denominator. Right? Yeah. But, and, but no, forget that. I'm going to throw that out the window right now. Right now? Yeah, because okay. like, 
I feel like this is what my problem is with the world and with the universe. Okay. Mm. A lot of people live based off of the expectation of what the world told you, how you're supposed to live, how you're supposed to feel, yeah. and what's wrong and what's right. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a quick example so you can really see where I'm at right now. So one of the annoying situations that happened this week, coworker, one of the people that worked for me on my team, right? Yeah. There's an email came out from work talking about I'm getting pied in the face from one of my agents because of their metrics or whatever, right? Yeah. And I was like, why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? There's an email <laughs> telling me that today I'm getting pied in the face. So you can't even Wait. mentally prepare for this. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Except, the next like, day, no one yeah, came up to no you? No one's talked to me. No one said, hey, this is going to happen. So I looked at my agent and I said, you think I'm getting pied in the face? That's wild. <laughs> and she's like, well, this email came from your boss. I said, that's cute and all. <laughs> but no, I'm not getting I'm a, an adult. You're going to come talk to me mm -hmm. and I'll agree to it. You know, you tell me why. Sure, I'll agree. You ain't going to send no email talking about I'm getting pied in the face. Yeah, don't She's catch like, me well, off guard. That's your boss. You got to do it. I said, how much you want to bet? <laughs> so I made a $10 bet with her, right? I said, $10. Yeah. I'm not getting pied in the face at all. She's like, you're going to get pied in the face. You have to. It's required. I was like, okay, we'll required see. Make, th make this bet. So we shake hands and make the bet. I was like, hey, I'm going to do you one better. How about you ain't even got to pay me if I win. Let me pie you in the face if I win. Uh -huh. And she's like, nah, I'll take the 10 bucks. I said, mm -hmm. Then let's raise it to 50 bucks. Like, I'm confident. You're not pieing me. Yeah. Because this is me. I will put my two weeks in if somebody tells me I got to get pied in the face without talking to me about it. That's I'm just that petty. I will be broke. I'll be poor. I'll be homeless. Mm -hmm. Based off a of principle. Because, you know, if you let somebody step on you. So the thing happens. We make the bet. I'm chilling at my desk all day working. Yeah. I look outside the window. There's like 10 people getting pied in the face. And guess where I'm at? Upstairs. It's, 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 chilling. Nobody came to talk to me like, hey, man, it's one o'clock. It's time for your pie. No, nothing. I got left alone. I was working. So I, I'm telling her, yo, what's up? My money. <laughs> she says that I was hiding and that I didn't, uh, that I was hiding. So of course, I said, hiding? I'm at my desk. She's like, but you didn't go down there. I said, I said, you adding all kinds of things. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> so you nothing. want me to go down there, stand there, yeah. and then wait to get the pie, the, and then tell you no, yeah, you're not getting yeah, pie. Yeah, no, no, no the, the, bet, the, you, the bet was, I'm not getting pie. So you know me, I go hard in the paint. I started killing her at work. Right there. I said, you going to do this? You're going to be embarrassed in front of everybody. Mm. You know uh -oh. what I'm saying? So at that point, I'm questioning your integrity. You trash. You a Disney villain. Um, <laughs> and then people over here backing her up about the bet. So they told me I went too hard. And that's the problem is you just, you can't let people live the wrong way. You got to be a person of integrity. You got to be about your morals. You got to be about your word and what you say. I, okay. So I do agree with that. So yeah. I don't think that... Like you said, that part, you can throw that out the window. Cause I, but I think that's different. Then when I, What I mean as far as being a common denominator is like at one point, you know, I was beefing with everybody. Yeah. And I would have to look at myself and be like, all right, if you beefing with family, friend, everybody, mm -hmm. then it got to be you. But that's a different situation because if you let somebody play with you like that and they're going to keep playing with you like that, they're going to become a habitual line stepper. Mm -hmm. And you don't need no habitual well, line stepper. Well, this is the problem. It goes based off of what Lena said and what other people may think. People In that situation, I was being called negative. Because I'm going in on her. And I'm like, if I'm not going in on you, then you just think this is cool. And everybody, like, n let's, let's stand by our morals and our principles. But now I'm the grumpy, mean guy. But yet this person is the one that did some uncool thing. Can I ask a question? Yeah. How far did you go in? All right. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> like, but how, all right. I'm going to tell you that... It, <laughs> what I did, and here's, but here's the problem. I'm glad you asked that question. Yeah. Because I think you are all wrong for thinking this is going too far. I didn't even get a, we didn't get a chance to answer you. I know, but I'm going to tell you, and then you're going to say I went too far. I feel like she's really going to say I went too far. Oh, I want to see what Pretty much the first. best way I explain it, I let this person know that they are complete trash. And they are a, a, a sorry excuse for a human being. <laughs> Jesus. And that they should feel guilty every moment of their life until they make a serious change in their life. And you wow. are garbage. You are filth. And we need to clean filth up. That's what I told her pretty much in one way or the other. Are you, are you still employed there? Yeah. Oh, okay. This, yes. I just want to make sure. Um, but that's the problem. I know y'all going to say, oh, too. Like, no, because this person just walks around their life thinking what they do is cool. And it's not. Somebody got to put you in your place. I need to guilt you to see what you did. You got to change or if not. Are they consistent? Like, are they always doing this? Or is this the first time? Not this specifically, but they do a lot of other things. Like, they're a little snitch. 
Mm. Oh. You know what I'm saying? They people, maybe even people business when they ain't got no pe- business oh, being people. Lord. Like if I'm having a conversation with you, you see her little head pop up like a groundhog to see what y'all talking about. Ain't got nothing to do with her. So it's more than so this. it's things like that. And th- exactly. And these people around her know that she does habitual things like this, but they still want to <laughs> back up. And you went too hard. You know why they say I went too hard? Why? Because people are afraid to put people in their place. You what just let I people agree? do things. You so, know what I'm saying? So now with more context, you know, but you know, I, I always take a different approach. I'm more, you, you no longer exist. And then I just keep continue living my life over here. But it's, what you're saying is there was multiple instances. So this wasn't just an isolated incident. Correct. And you just snapped. It was more Correct. so a build of, yeah. of incidents that, uh, you know, the pie was, I guess the the straw that broke the camel's back. I guess. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then the same, the next day she spreading rumors that I'm messing with a chick at work that I'm not messing with. <laughs> where well, do you work? You are human film. Wait, where do you work? Because this sounds like too much drama in the oh, workplace. Oh, this place is great. I love the drama in the workplace. Just don't play with me. I used mm. to be there. The drama comes with both ways. Okay. Both ways. So. They didn't, but they knew not to play with me as far as drama. Because they brought that to me, I would see. But this person, that's the thing. Though, this person still ain't learned. This person still ain't learned. But they're going to learn today. But anyway, so well, that's... that's okay. Hopefully but I'm just saying, like, I don't really think I'm as bad as people make it, make me out to be. They're just not... You, people aren't used to accountability. And they're especially not used to accountability to that level. Um, See, once more, again, I'm the common denominator. I, but yeah. But I'm, I'm more... I guess me personally, I'm more selective on who... Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a very honest person with people. So if you ask me a question, I'm going to answer your question. But I am selective on who I communicate with for that, for that reason. Because I know some people can't take my honesty, in which I've gotten better. I'm not as, as cutthroat as I... No, I'm, I was never like cutthroat, but I'm not as uh, mean, I guess, with my words as I used to be. I'm more so like, let me package it a little bit better, but I'm still going to give you the honest. Um, and even like Sade is just getting used to me and my honesty. Like, she'll ask me a question, I'll answer it, and she'll be like, wow. And I'm like, it wasn't rude, it's just you didn't want it. You wasn't ready. How was the deliverance? It's more like she'll... I, I, I don't... I'm not rude with it. So I'll give it, give you the answer, mm-hmm. but it's in a, it's gonna be honest. I mean, I think that's the part that gets people because they're not ready for anybody to be honest with you. You know, most people like say a rapper come to you, right, and they say, "Hey, what do you think of my song?" They don't really want you to tell them what you think of their song. They want you to tell, they want you to tell them that their song sounds good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But so if you say, it's like, because me, I won't just say I don't like it. I'll be like, hey, the beat could be better. The mixing could be better. This could mm-hmm. be better. And then they'll be like, oh, you hate it. You know what I'm saying? Not oh, because yeah. of you said it rude, but it's more so you didn't say what they want you to exactly. say. Exactly. Kind of situation. So, yeah. I, I I mean, like I said, I don't, I know you and I know how hard you can go. I don't know if you went full Super Saiyan Manny. Full throttle. <laughs> I don't Man, think, what do you think? I don't think I I feel like it was... Blown a little bit out of proportion. <laughs> but then again, that's his personality and that's who he is and that's fine. That's true. Yeah. I, see, I like this. Sometimes I like you this need to, if, if you've been around, how long have you been around this person? Uh, at least a year. Okay, oh, so okay. this is already a year that she should know what type of person you are and just not to, you know, you know who to mess with. You know who not to mess with. Yeah. So the fact that she's still like poking the bear knowing the type of person you are, that's her fault too. Yeah. Yeah, but what really pissed me off was the people around her co-signing. Well, because people, people, the the whole victim thing. So they more so seen her, you as the bad guy, her as the the victim. So they, you know, gonna call her the victim, even though they know, because they'll probably mm-hmm. come to you and be like, "Yeah, she was wrong." You know what I'm saying? Behind her back, but in the situation, they're more so. Let me defend who her, you know, the yeah. victim. So. Some of them got to work too. <laughs> this... I mean, we, can we you want to switch some gears? You want to? Because oh, the yeah, GTA no, trailer. Because we talked about the GTA Six. It's coming to, amazing. Yeah, we talked about it coming to Florida before, but we didn't see the trailer. Mm-hmm. And I didn't we, think it was real until I saw the trailer. When we saw the trailer, what do y'all, like, how Florida is this trailer, y'all? Whoever did it is a resident of Florida. Yeah. A resident of the shenanigans in yeah. Florida. Because it's to the T. So, and I read it, I think it was the, was it the New York Post was talking about it. Yeah. So it got all the way up north, and they put the pictures all the real life situations and converted it into the video game. It is just amazing. Like they got every single detail in that video. And that is amazing. I agree. I I don't know how to play video games, but 
whoever is going to sit down and play for hours, I will just sit there and, and watch, watch it play. It. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yes. Just, just so you can see stuff like, yes. I've seen that yeah. before. Yes. Ooh, I, like, listen, they had to send somebody undercover in Florida. Because that's the for only sure. way you're going to get... A secret shopper. Yeah, like, they had to, yeah, they had to send a secret <laughs> shopper into Florida and go deep in, into the, to the Everglades and oh, for Miami. Sure. Like, yes. there's no way you can get that accurate. Like, they yeah. had... The, the somebody pulling an alligator out the pool, mm -hmm. like an alligator walking into the store. This stuff happens. Yep. Um. The the what is it? The Florida Joker or the Miami Joker? Yeah. Um. Joker. Yeah. Florida Joker. They had the guy. They had the lady that had the two hammers, which that ended a little bit different than the game because she got put in a headlock on the real video. I watched the video. Yes. I can send it to y'all. So you never know. She might get put in a headlock in the game too. Oh, that'll be dope. You, know what I'm saying? you put in a headlock mm -hmm. in the game. But yeah, she had the two hammers and she was beating on these people's yep. car. So yeah, they the I girls think... turking on top of cars because that's yeah. such a Florida thing. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen so much turking on top of cars it, 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 in it, my life. Yeah, especially they... South Beach. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they be they be turned up down there. Mm -hmm. They but they I think they feel like they I feel like they hit most of the Florida. Now there was some people in Florida. Wait, before we go, Manny, what are you? Um, this game is gonna be. The, probably the most successful game that ever came out ever. Yeah. And let me explain to you why. It's coming out at a good time because what you were saying. Right now, and I know you've all had this, I assume everybody's had this feeling. What do kids will, will rather watch other people do things than do them themselves? Yeah. So they're watching other kids open toys. And even more, what's popping out is watching other people play video games. Yeah. So can you imagine how many people and for how long they're going to be watching people Florida? Bro. That's going to get... So I think this is going to be the most successful game. Even me, like you said, I'm not going to play it because I don't play video games. But I'm going to be chilling with somebody. They're going to be playing and I'm going to sit I'm willing to learn, it. though. I will say that. But I need someone with patience to teach me. I, the last time I used to be heavy, heavy into video games, it was the Nintendo 64. Ooh, oh, yeah. I remember Nintendo 64. Yeah, so that's I mean, it's Golden been a I? while. But that's what I love. I, I don't know what it is now because I, I know back in the day, everything wasn't so like so much now like even watching you guys play like call of duty it's just so much i feel like i'm in there and yeah. it's just my anxiety <laughs> and i'm jumpy and yeah. you know before i wasn't like that but i love sitting down and watching somebody play it's so weird in person not on tv yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. i legit will grab some popcorn and be like into it be like, oh my god watch out watch like that's me <laughs> well no that's what i mean too now you don't do that but streaming right now bro like yeah. twitch people are gonna sit there this game and this thing is gonna get a lot of hours mm -hmm. of people watching it and it is it is crazy because, um, like like you said, people will watch. People love Florida, so even if the people from Florida or live in Florida, you're gonna play or watch it because it's things that fam that's familiar. Mm -hmm. And you're really gonna experience Florida, even if you're yeah. not in Florida. Cause especially yep. if you got Floridians saying, "This is Florida," and yeah. so when it, even the people that don't like Florida, I'm gonna throw up the quotes because they say they don't like us, but they always watching us. They, they want to know what it's like to be in Florida. So they're going to mm -hmm. play the game to just get that Florida experience without coming to Florida because they're scared. But so I feel like it's going to get the eyes. So like you said, man, I feel like this might be. Is this going to be bad for us, though, too? Is this going to make us look worse? Probably. But it's stuff that happened for real. But it's not like we're lying. Yeah. That's like when I do my videos, people be like, I've never come. I'll watch your videos because I like your videos and I like to see it, but I'll never come to Florida because of that stuff. So maybe them playing it, they might be like, you know what? Especially if Floridians are saying, hey, this is what really, this is really Florida. So, I But mean. people say that, and sometimes we think about other states and think the same way. Like my oldest sister, she lives in Anchorage, Alaska. She's <laughs> like, oh my God, you guys have alligators and da 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 And I said, um, when I went and visited you, there was a fucking moose. I mean, sorry. No, you There good. was a moose I'm on the porch. That thing is the size of a U-Haul. I've never seen them in person. And I saw it. They are huge. Then at nighttime, she's like, can you take the trash out? You have a freaking bear and three cubs outside. And you're scared of Florida? That's what. Th like, are you kidding me? And I think it's because of what we're used to. But, bro, if I walk outside and see a moose, I'm packing my stuff and I'm moving. I've never seen two alligators go into to mating. And they're fighting and, and total two cars. I've never seen it. But you want to know what I did see? I seen two moose fighting when they were in heat, you know, mating. And they, and they, they are total crazy. Two cars yeah. They fighting each other. They jump on cars. They chase people. And yeah, yeah she's always said, you'll have to be careful. Wait until they move, especially if there's a baby around. You know, I'm late to work sometimes because if I 
try to walk to the car, they'll come attack me. And I was like, and you're scared of Florida. Yeah. <laughs> the alligators don't, but alligators not trying to bother you. Yeah, that, listen, if nobody's not yeah. feeding them, they're going to just go. I mean, you got some crazy stuff down here, but I mean, a crocodile, that might be a little different. But like alligators, nah. And they always scared of the alligators. I'm like, yep. the alligators are le- the least thing you have yeah. to worry about. But no, nah, I don't want no, you, I'm with you on that. A moose, you can have that. We don't have wolves anymore here. So I'm good on that. But we, they do have them up there. Yep. Um, what do we have? What do they, we have, well, we have um, bison. I just found out we have bison here. I didn't know that. But we have them here. Are but. they like in uh, somebody's property? No. They're, they're running loose? A, yeah, they're on a state park. But they're, they're in the wild. They just oh, live in the wild. It's like 30 that. of them. Oh. In Florida? Yeah. Oh. By like Gainesville. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought it was like a zoo or somebody's we're property. We're about to they... find out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going. Oh, Lord. We got to see him. <laughs> Y'all, Lena has signed up to do these adventures, right? But we letting her pick which yeah. adventure she want to go on. Yeah. Because we're doing, um, we doing the Python hunting tomorrow, Fine. but we're going to swim with some. Man, he's ready. I've been doing the grip exercises <laughs> for the past month. <laughs> He's been playing with a little stress uh, ball. Right. <laughs> yeah, she ain't lying. That was her, a little orange stress ball. But hey, look, it's working. It's Manny, working. what are you training for? Don't worry don't about it. About Just it. know y'all will see don't me. On. You know, they're thinking other things. I'm like, no, it's just Python. It's not that. Honey. It's, it's really Python, honey. It's a real yeah. Python, y'all. It's, mm-hmm. So, but we, yeah, we're going Python, honey. So there's that. And there's also a place in the Everglades where you can trade pythons for pizza. And I feel like that would be, I feel like that would complete our adventure. If we catch a python, and if we go trade that python for pizza, that would complete the adventure, the Florida adventure. Yep. Like, what are y'all doing? Hey, well, so when you catch... worth 10 times the pizza, but whatever. Yeah. So we can't, we can't, we don't get paid for them. Yeah, it's going to be a Birkin bag that sells for yeah. $300,000 and yeah. we got a slice of pizza. Yeah. But I feel like, let's say, okay, we catch the python. We can't get paid for the python. I mean, you probably can't. Why can you not? You just you not. risked your whole life for this animal for you to get a slice of pizza? You know what you talked me into. But okay, so you have to be licensed, I guess. So you have to be a licensed python hunter to get paid by the state from python. But I guess you could sell it to another python hunter. So they can utilize there. But for the video, bro, like think about it. Wait, this. do you know if it's like a whole pizza or just a slice of pizza? It's a whole, I think it's a whole pizza. I just, you know, and that was driving me crazy. I watched the show not too long ago. It's from Miami. Uh, how this guy goes to ever he's broke and he's trying to do better for himself uh-huh. so he found out about python hunting in yeah. everglades city so he goes out there and you have to turn them into a place they measure them and they yeah. have, and you get money for it yeah and it's such a good i have to look for it Hold but up. you got you got to be like certified by the state in order to get paid for it's it. florida i'm sure it's not hard I, to get i'm, pr- I'm sure the there's a season that anybody could come and do it they do they got that but we're not in that season. When they did that, I think that that challenge. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like for the it's video. It's called Killing It. Oh. I think I heard of that. Is it like a yes. documentary or actually no, a it's scripted a, show? It's a series. It's it's about comedy. Hunting? Yeah, it's comedy. I oh, I got to watch that. that. Yeah. I'm going to screenshot it right that. now and send it to the I'm group. check that out. See, because that's, that's very Florida. That, oh, yeah. For sure. They tried to get us with that, that Florida Man show mm-hmm. on Netflix, and that wasn't Florida at all, y'all. That... If y'all think Florida is like that, it's not. The Florida Man show, it's not. It's that wasn't us. Um, but no, I, I think I think if I do catch it, I want to trade it for the pizza for the video. I feel yeah, like that's because America tricked us. Because but, wait, what? America makes us think things are cool that are real stupid. That's not, that's cool. This, too, this part of it. Too. That's cool though. If we post that, man, and, hey, we just traded our. That's Florida. Even when I say it, we traded. Everybody's our gonna for say it. Yeah, and they're gonna say we're stupid for that. That's yeah, does it come with a you soda? Just the whole thing. I don't for drink it. soda. Because oh. when you heard what I said, wait, do we get a slice? Or a... That's what America does to you. America, that's what America does to you. It made me ask a stupid question. A and it made me seem like, well, I'm cool if it's a whole pizza, not just a slice. Like, that's a stupid, like, no, we just getting jerked regardless. But I'm doing it. I'm going to do it just because I can't do nothing with it. What I'm going to do at that point. But like, what you going to do with the python? Do we have to give it to the people that we're going hunting with? I don't know. I want to trade. Oh, so you're person. assuming we're probably not even going to be able to do this. Oh, I could do it. He do it. The guy that we're going with is cool. So he's he certified and wastes his time trading it for pizza? Well, some, you know, because they make a lot of money from doing it. So mm-hmm. it's like, if it's so like a python that away. ain't that big. He's, oh, he's like, no, nah, I'm going to just get a pizza. Because they only get like, you know, it okay. got to be a, a over I a certain you. amount for them to get I paid a lot for the python. So. so if I catch a beast, I could just bring back pizza for my whole squad. Sure. Right? Sure. I want to see this happen. Like, what if you get like a 16-footer? You on your own. 
I'm going to tell you the truth. Mm. Oh, the sir, the <laughs> savior has conditions. Is there a certain Rudy? way you have to kill it the too? Sa- no, we ain't like killing it. We ain't killing it. We ain't killing it. We just catch it. They, they, they have they a, do a what humane they're gonna do later. way to do it. Oh, we'll I was hoping it. that. Like, I ain't, yeah, okay. We, yeah, we just, I'm we not just, a, I, I'm an animal lover. And me trust me, I don't like pot thons, but I feel like if they are to be killed, it has to be a humane way that they're not yeah. going to suffer. Yeah. yeah. They like got they got ways like they they got ways they don't like one step to the head one that's it a lot of a lot like of them quick and easy a lot of them are like animal people but they doing it for you know because it's necessary to preserve Florida because they're killing it and I want a souvenir I got you. okay I got you I'm gonna come out with a python wrapped right around no no head. no I want a little like <laughs> magnet for my fridge okay oh, oh you don't want like the the head no no thank you can, like are we gonna bring you a tooth we gotta be a tooth we can snatch oh what if we get the skull. The python skull because it got all the teeth and stuff. Oh my god! Put on a necklace. Ooh, that's a good. Ooh, on a belt buckle. Like it's a belt buckle with a belt. <sighs> oh, then we can get the belts from back in the day because then you you remember the belts from back in the day used to have like the the square used to be bedazzled. Then they had the like, name going across. Oh, oh like yeah, you yeah, put, yeah. We could put like a python head in there. Mm. Like, oh, a like case. an LCD screen too. Yeah. Um, I'll take a keychain or a magnet, <laughs> please. Thank you. <laughs> While we're going too far with this. Just we come back to work with my python head necklace. <laughs> oh, no one's really going to mess with I don't really understand what y'all you. looking at. What's the problem? <laughs> Where did you get that from? I called it. Like a real man. No, just like... <laughs> man, man, he's acting different. <laughs> just walking like a wrestler. <laughs> You know, where just walking the ring. So it, crazy. And, and it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's even funny if you had a, the python throw over your shoulder like, like a, a belt. Uh, like a belt. It's just, he got it like a, a wrestling belt. He just got the python thrown over his shoulder walking through. He'd be work. like Stone Cold. Hey, <laughs> Manny, can I see you in here, please? This is crazy. Then you got to worry about clocking in like Lena it's said. Just like Manny. Uh, <laughs> HR wants to talk to you. I'm just walking in HR. What's the problem? No, but they want to talk to you over the phone because... <laughs> You got a python on your shoulder. <laughs> it's dead. What's the problem? <laughs> Y'all never saw a skull before? <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, we got plans. We python hunted tomorrow, y'all. Oh, my so gosh. Gonna this can go anyway. We'll see what happens. It was supposed to be today, you know, but things was. changed. This it was scarier. supposed to be today. This is not as scary as what I... I was more scared for the kayak thing than a python. So Because of the herpes monkeys or just the kayak? Just all the things involved. The know. alligators and stuff. Yeah, and then the you water. and then you learn that it's your own people. <laughs> anyway, we're not gonna, we're we're not gonna go back to that. No, we're not gonna go He's back. He's never gonna we're let not this gonna go, go back to that. But it be your own people. I finally got that. I never really understood oh, that thing. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's like, oh, it be your own. People. So they was talking about Rudy specific. Yo, actually, now that I think about it, and I'm not gonna rehash. I just wanna say this real quick, and we can move on. Both of you have disappointed. <laughs> Manny, it was a and caterpillar. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> like he, he him got a better and excuse. He had yeah. all the work oh, okay. to do. Ooh. But it's still like it's in the back of my head. Like, can I trust these dudes? We gonna find out. Manny, I'm about that action. Um, I hope tomorrow's not the day though that we find that no, out. No, 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 no. I got. I you. want that to happen with a smaller you. animal, not a python. What if we go swim with the manatees? And... We said pythons aren't. There's not. I'm, there's are they poisonous? No. All right, we good. All right. We good. They can't kill. I mean, but they there can, is but venomous they snakes me, but... out there. Yeah, yeah. We got the water moccasins and. They got rattlesnakes and stuff, but we they going like we going with professionals, so we mainly hunt off of the road. So all right, we'll see. It's what like happens. we can see everything. We'll see what happens. You know? I hope I catch them. Um, but yeah, so um, I do got a question, Lena. You're kind of young, so you, you might be not be able to answer this. No, I'm just playing. When did like I'm like y'all age? At what? No, you're not. Probably like many age. At one point, did y'all feel, like know when y'all like what happened in y'all life where y'all know y'all was like getting older? Like what? Like specific? who's getting old? I know the moment. Also, oh, she's gonna play out this all cool. I told you she's not. Oh, listen, Lena's twenty one, and I'm rolling with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you saw, and then you saw that face. What are right? you talking about? You saw that face. We, 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 so we, that's me being negative. That's not her being full of it. That's me being negative. <laughs> I didn't right, say cool. it. Someone it. else gave me the compliment, and you had the little side eye. <laughs> I'm just, all right. See how now I'm the negative one. It's not the person that's full of it. I got a teammate now. It's on. I <laughs> feel like my body world. parts got different ages. Is that what happened? Like my back and my Ooh. knees feel like 75 ish. Okay. I feel that. Yeah. You know when I, y'all want to know when I felt old? So I, you know, I, I grew up, I ran track, I played sports my whole life, right? So my nephews are getting up there in age. I think I got a nephew that's just I turned 13. 
I got a nephew that's like 15. I got another one that's like 14. So they're getting up there in age. Mm-hmm. So they come to me and they're like, Uncle Josh, we can beat you running. Now they know this because I've always raced them. Mm-hmm. And I was, I grew up, I was fast. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Every, you know, most people that know me from school. And I got out there and raced them, right? Charlie horse. Listen, there was more than a Charlie <laughs> horse. I think I tore everything. The check engine like <laughs> the check engine. Now, now, did I win? You have you have your check engine light ever come on and you just like, bro. It's like your old car. You like, you know what? It's gonna push it. It's it's, it's dumb, but it's over for you anyway. So we just wanna push it till you go all the way off. And that's pretty much what happened. But I raced them, and it was one race. It wasn't like multiple races. It was one race, and I was down for like two weeks. You won, but when you got to the house, bro, you were not a winner. The smoke was coming out the radiator. (laughs) (laughs) It was every guy there, but it's it's gone gone. now. (laughs) Nobody lifted the hood up. It was just up. And at that point, I knew like. Bro, you got to sit down. Like, you got to chill. Like, you ain't as young as you used to be. You can't do this stuff. Because I used to be out there dancing. I can't do... Listen. My daughter makes me feel old, but her friends don't. Her friends love me. They always tell my daughter, oh, my God, your mom is so young and so beautiful. She's so cool. Because they moms got big backs. And then, so they're comparing. You know and I'm then saying? my so child is like, um, no, she's old and she's mean. <laughs> and did it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Hey, like I said, it always be your people. Is, yes. it, is that how you doing it? <laughs> I'm like, I had you at 23. Like, yeah, that's yeah. young. Yeah. I feel like that's young. No, that yeah. is. No, my mom was starting. She had me at 16. So 23, oh, that's shoot. old age. That's well, old for Hispanic. I mean, true. I'm, a- <laughs> I, I'm the third. I'm the third. Of three girls, and mm. I was the, the, the old baby. Mm, My mom okay. had me like in her late thirties. Gotcha. Okay. Early forties, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. So that's when you. So your 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 daughter makes you feel. Old. Yeah, she says things. <laughs> Kids are disrespectful. Like low key disrespectful. No, no high key. Let me oh. a perfect oh. example. This is a true story. It happened yesterday. She was singing that song. I put my hands up on my head. Oh, yeah, and yeah. then she says, when I dip, I dip, I dip. And I looked at her and she's like, what you know about that? I said, first of all, child, <laughs> is when I dip, you dip, we dip. Exactly. And she's like, no, it's not. You don't know what you're talking about. And I said, excuse you? <laughs> she's like, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. You're older. I said, first of all, that song came out when I was young. Yes. Oh, you don't know nothing about it. And you're singing it incorrect. I had to pull out Google Type in the song and she's like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah. Cause I was at your age, okay? <laughs> well, we had our hands on our guess, hips. So I'm talking about, oh, you, oh, you don't know this song. Oh, it's because it came out on TikTok and now they think it's exactly. new. That's what they do. That's what, like, my kids will bring me a song and it'll, they'll be like, yeah, this song. And I'll be like, that's an old song. And they'll be like, no, it's not. And I'll be like, I grew up on this song. But Period. TikTok has been like, that's great. Bring yes. it back. That's cool. I think yes. that's cool. She's been playing um, Bow Wow hits the last. Well, oh, bow, 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 wow. Wow. you yeah. just don't know. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> I don't care how good a job TikTok does. <laughs> you never bow know. Wow it's still a little Bow Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but, but something is going on where he's like resurfacing, but they do not understand that these people are people we grew up with. Yeah. And they're resurfacing again and now with new things like TikTok, which we didn't have when we were younger. Yes. They don't yes. understand like it's coming out again 15, 20 years later. Yes, and I will say that even on the internet, things will keep going viral. Mm-hmm. So you'll you'll see something, and like that's pretty much what's happening with music and movies. Yep. Um, you'll see like something that we grew up on, that TikTok will you know it'll become a trend or it'll go viral, and then the kids will pick it up, and it you know it'll keep going on, and it'll happen again sometime in the future. But um, Bow Wow is still Bow Wow. Um, Manny was a Bow Wow fan, so we go um. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. I think that's, that's what made me feel old, too, when I started talking about music. Because I'd be like, yeah, I grew up on this, and the butterfly up. And then my kids yeah. would be looking at me, and I'd be like, I'm old. They'd be like, yeah, yeah. So, Our era was better anyway. So. I agree with that. It's, we was killing it out there. Mm-hmm. Every era says, but whatever. But come on, Manny. What, what could compete with 90s R&B? Nothing. 2023 R&B. I guarantee you it's not. We can go song what? for song. We can go song don't, for song. Don't you dare. Listen. And I will back I'll then it was quick. passionate, it was love, it was sincere. Now with this generation, it's all about 
All country them, man, no. and having Stop. multiple women exactly. and being a exactly that's the reality hot pocket hot they and ready they were lying back then they were lying no they every were not every man singing about the girl they love had 10 women in the background no am I lying but those not were all his of them. sisters all of them think about how romantic this is man <laughs> think about how romantic this is you love a woman so much that you gathered your friends to come stay in background while you sing to this one. Like, where are we going to do this to help him out? Like, we just said that we're going to do this I'm not for doing him. We try it. Exactly. Doing it. Rain with leather. Rain. Bro, you know how I love you got to be to have rain with all leather. All those men cheated the whole time. Not all, now, of them. all not of them. Not all of them. All of them. No. I don't think Tyrese was a cheater. Cheating is like so <laughs> common and popular right now. And I feel like. Cheating has always <laughs> been popular. We just didn't have the internet to put it out there. And yeah. actually, right now, they're actually telling the truth and singing about it. Boys to men. All of them. Cheaters. Nah, not, not the way Wayne was saying. I don't believe it. All right. I don't believe Wayne it. Wayne was saying with every band in his throat. Look at their faces and tell them that. Watch their face. They mean, hey, ruin, be ruined. They was no. all thought. Don't ruin it for me. The only one I know is Joe. Like, Joe to say I got questions. But Silk. They weren't cheating. They weren't cheating. That's no. cute. That's so cute. Maxwell. I don't, Maxwell don't look like a cheater. Nope. Not cheating. Maxwell. Maxwell don't look like a cheater. Tank. Not Tank. cheating. Tank definitely cheated. Tank. 100%. Tank. Yeah, exactly. They all cheated. Whatever. They all cheated. But if all right. y'all want to live in a uh, delusional world... Well, like I'm in delusional world. world. 90s R&B was the best. Yep. If you write Period. the lyrics down, they're basic <laughs> as heck, bro. Anyway, let's move on, because y'all not going to agree with Man, me. Man, there you okay. go. Let's, we go do. write down these lyrics that you love so much, and you'll be like, this is the most kids bop thing. It ain't There's, about the lyrics. It's about the performance. The way they were singing all, it. It's no, everything. it's the lyrics. It's so that I felt like their lyrics were sincere. But I feel like they were singing what they felt. They People heart, sing heart. now to, for a paycheck. <laughs> exactly. They don't care about what's going on. Oh, yeah, because everybody did it for free. <laughs> no, but they, but they didn't it's do it for as much passion. money. It wasn't as much of a business as it was now. Okay. Thank you. Sure. All right, so I'm going to toss it to you. You got the, I don't know what's about to happen, y'all. I want to. Oh, no. Me and Lita don't know what's going on. All right. I just want to point that out before y'all. There's a reason for this. This isn't random, but it's going to sound random. So let's just get to it real quick. Are you okay. taking me out to dinner? Yes, actually. I'm, all right, you ready? This is, <laughs> Lena doesn't know about what's going to happen. <laughs> so this is all going to be improv. Lena okay. doesn't know anything about this. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set the mood. Um, it's a Friday night. Um, it's 8 o'clock, let's say. I'm getting okay. in character. Okay, um, go ahead. We're in a restaurant right okay. now. I see it. Um, Pasta. This is our second date. Wait, wait, which Second. restaurant? She said pasta. Yeah, I'm thinking I was, This is important. This is Olive Not Garden. Not Olive Garden. Carrabba's. Let's do Carrabba's. Okay, Something I like a little it. more. Ooh, yes. Good bread. All right, Carrabba's go ahead. Okay. It, honestly, it wouldn't be Carrabba's. It'd be a place she'd never been, don't know about. It's a nice spot. Anyway, okay. second date. Okay. Second, we had okay. our first date, and we're on a second date because okay. we're both like, okay. Okay. I'm going to invest a little more time in this. I'm interested. Second date. We're sitting down, having a good time. Okay. okay. Um, Are we drinking? Yeah, okay, that's okay. a good question. The, the yeah. wine is flowing. Okay, wine I feel it. I'm warm. I'm warm. Yes, Go ahead. yes. Food is <laughs> I like good. This. I like where this is going. <laughs> you just got your pasta. You're doing a happy dance. Ooh, this. All right, so Lena, okay. we're going to get into the role play. So, Lena, um, I had a great time with you the first date. Time is very valuable, and I, I appreciate you uh, giving me that time and feeling like I was worthy of a little more time. So, I appreciate you. Um, and with that being said, there's something that I want to talk to you about. Um, and I'm saving this for this date, right? Because I feel like this isn't first date conversation. Uh, but I need to share something with you right now so you can decide at this point whether this is something you want to keep working on, right? Okay. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to let you know. I'm going to just say it. Um, I do have a, 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 a foot picture profile. Um, so I have an active foot picture profile. I sell my pictures um, for money. Uh, just the other day, this guy, Derek, who's one of my followers, uh, paid me $1,200 to uh, just step on mashed potatoes, <laughs> record it, and, <laughs> and send it to him for a quick 1200 So, like I said, I just want to be up front with you. This is, this is what I'm doing. And I just want, like, I still got my regular, like, nine to five, but, you know, this is just Why? something I do for the extra bread. Because okay. um, is And it's, to me, it's art. To me, it's art. To them, it's probably more than art. But for me, it's art. So I said, I just want to share that with you. And you, like, you let me know, like, what's up? Are we still doing this thing? Or you got any questions? Or what's, what's going on? First thing, I feel like he brought the foot subject up because anybody that knows me knows I freaking have a phobia of feet. I hate feet. I hate my feet. 
your feet, everyone's feet. Okay, stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. I didn't know that, but all right, perfect. So, so I just told you what I do with feet. My eyes this closed. is how you feel about feet. Yes. How are you responding to me on this okay. day right now? Do they know it's you or they just see your feet? They only see my feet. Thank you for letting <laughs> me know your secret on your little second, on your hustle, mm -hmm. on your legal hustle. Um, I don't like feet, but I really like you. And if this is something that makes you happy, I don't mind. Just don't bring that around me. And just make sure that you can be identified because I don't want to be walking with you and people are like, oh, there goes the foot guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's, thank you. That's respectable. See? This is I like why that. I told you Lena was perfect for it. All right, that's show. respectable. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But anyway, this all goes to say I created a foot picture profile. Oh. And I'm going to see what happens. And see no, you did problem. not. Because we was talking at like, work, and I was like, how come, like, I think he did. Can men, can men, are men making money off of this hustle? Um, and there's something out there for everybody. So, so I don't feet know. are the number one body part, believe it or not. People say, oh, butts and boobs and this and that. But hands and feet are actually like, the number one of a person's body mm -hmm. that other people are attracted to. Yeah. Feet Finder is a thing. I have a friend locally. Um, she does this. She's a single mom, full-time mom. And when her two children are at school, she does this videos. Mm -hmm. And she's done things where she steps on pie. She the the popsicle in between the toes and stuff. Like, she's told me. I've never seen it. Yeah. And... Her paychecks are nice. Mind you, she started this during COVID. Yeah. And yeah. it went sky high after that. This is her only source of income, and it's good enough where she doesn't have to get another job. She just stays home and does this. She, you know, I, I like I said, I don't like feet. She yeah. says she has perfect feet, and everyone seems to like her feet, and she has like a million followers. So oh, it yeah. is a thing, and it is a good paying thing. You just have to build your clientele. It won't happen overnight. It took her possibly, I'll say, like nine months for her to start getting money. See, I'm worried. Why are you worried? Well, listen, because once again, you always hear about women doing this yes. and getting money. So I'm curious as me, a man, I what kind of return I'm going to have on my You okay with that? Will you, you'll, you'll be okay with that? What? Like the doing that? Reverse, or like you okay feet doing feet thing? thing for real? Yeah, I think it's it means nothing to me. It's like, yeah. It's a social experience. Will you be okay doing it? Like no, how man, will I you feel? I don't like feet. Yeah. I'm I'm with you. I don't I'm But I don't like feet either. That's why I'm putting something out there that I don't care about. It literally doesn't affect me at all. This is stupid to me. Manny, I wear socks I everywhere because I don't like feet. I don't like my feet. I don't like <laughs> I got, any feet. I got slides with socks on right yeah, now. That's me. <laughs> that's me. Um no, yeah, I want to feel any type of way. Let me get this money. It means nothing to me. I mean, it's but, a good social experience. I mean, when I was on Christian Mingle. Um, I felt like that was a good. I'm worried experience. about how it's gonna affect me though emotionally if I'm the rejection if I don't. Get but what if you take off? Then what you gonna do? Oh, let's go. Okay, let's and still go. you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I, I mean, you yeah. pay for my meal, and hopefully there's more after this oh, meal. Snap. And apparently, but also like, isn't that like taking blood money? Like if you don't like feet, and I'm paying for our stuff. Nah, because that ain't. That's not like blood money to you. No, because if you're passionate about it, like I don't want to be that person to be like, oh, I hate it. No, I'm not. I hate it, but doesn't mean you hate it. Why would I take your passion well, away? What if there's no passion to it? Though? What if it's like then it's I about would the bread? encourage you. I would be like, why are you doing something you're not happy with? No, like, oh, okay, that's a good point. I didn't okay. dig that deep into it. And yeah. if you're making money and and having the financial freedom and not having to stick to a schedule, then yeah. you know, do your thing. So, Just yeah, don't bring it to me. Don't yeah, show yeah. me. Don't bring it up. Don't exactly. bring it to me. Like, what do you think about yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, please yeah, yeah. don't. Because I'm just gonna start the gagging you. and uh, 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 <laughs> now, yeah. now, now your self esteem now, down. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm easily I'm easily turned off. So I was like, now I like yeah. I liked you. You were like uh I like your number like level eight, uh -huh. and now you just went down to like a four point five. Just knowing about the. No, do you I'm showing, showing me? I'm showing you. Yes. Showing will ruin it. But we together, so mind. can I like at least say, hey, babe, I'm trying to like this is the idea. I can like, hey, all right, hey, look. So what I did was I bought a public fruit bowl, and I want to dip my toes. Like talk to you about it. It's like I can't even I run ideas. I, about I, you. I prefer you not, not to because, because don't I don't. Uh, yeah, because then right. I start the imaging, and then I'm just I'll seeing you. you sitting on a twenty five dollar Publix fruit bowl. Okay. That we could have ate. I like public fruit too. <laughs> For all real. Right, cool. Cool. So, all right. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna give y'all updates to see. That's what I'm actually doing <laughs> this weekend. It's always something. After we're done, do, what we're man. doing. I'm gonna just take like I've already been like investigating angles and things like that. 
It's so always we'll see. And yeah. don't ask me to partner up with you and start taking no, pictures. No, actually, that's real quick. I'm going to end it on this. <laughs> so I was telling people at work about this. I got like three or four chicks to sign up and be like, hey, can I send you some of mine? And you throw it up there and just and cut me off. And I'm like, so I'm going to be a foot pimp. Worse, I'm going to be a foot pimp. <laughs> Do that. No, I'm a first one. But I want to be independent. Independent no, man, business. Independent. But then you think about it. All you did, you just a distributor. You just a distributor. Be the foot distributor. Nah, nah, because I'm trying to run the city. But you can run the city nah, but by I'm, being the number one foot break, distributor in the in the. I don't want to break nobody off my money. Oh. I'm gonna start with just me, and if it ain't successful, then I'll add some some people to the roster, mm-hmm. and then you're gonna see me with poo. Them pythons gonna be on a coat. Oh my god! <laughs> if, it gets, if it gets to where I want it. To be. All right. So what we got next, right? So I was doing some research. I'm on the internet, right? And you know, I do random research and lore the things to you know try to just know random facts. So one of the things I seen was the top 10 most dangerous beaches in the United States, right? Mm. I think, I, I knew we would have at least five, I want to say. Oh, I thought all 10. You thought all 10? All, all 10. Like, I, I really thought that. I, I, in my mind, I was like, bro, the United States is big. We, five would be good. Like five. I was kind of shocked to see where we ranked. Like as far as how many we had on that list. Um. You thought 10. How many mm-hmm. do you think we would have? I never really think about it. But I, we have so many beaches in mm-hmm. comparison to other places, huh? Mm-hmm. I never thought about that. But even yeah. like Beaches yeah. are so regular to me now that it's weird to me that other places don't have a lot of beaches. Like, I yeah. mean, think where we're at, like, yeah. you know, in the map. Like, we're literally yeah. surrounded by the water. But I would have thought 7 out of 10 is kind of crazy. That's a lot. Like, 7 out of 10 is... You're talking about the whole country, right? Yeah. That's a lot. Seven out of ten beaches is crazy mm-hmm. to say that we have like out of dangers, but it's like different dangers. So, like one is the shark bite. The shark bite. I don't know why you do this. A, what? I'm already like don't want to do the things you want us to do, and no. you make it a point every week to tell me how much danger I'm in living here all the time. Well, and doing things with you. Well, yeah. I know one, I'm in danger the moment I wake up because we're yeah. in the state of Florida. Let's make that clear. Number one, where we going? That's where we going surfing. Number one is the shark bite. I'm not going. No, I'm a go. <laughs> Hey guys, you're gonna Did finally. You, you guys, you're finally gonna get see. see a, yeah, you're finally gonna get really get to know Rudy on that one. I'm definitely the cameraman that day. My big ass is not. I'm telling you right now, bitch. I'm, I'm a man of my word. I'm not doing the surfing thing because that's talk about. I'm not surfing. Yeah, because in these things, I'm already the target because I'm big and y'all gonna run ahead of me. I won't leave. I'm not you, doing man. this. I already the feel like I'm in danger in my in my own backyard. Yeah, you so are. I'm definitely not gonna be in water. First of all. 80% of the ocean has not even been discovered That's yet. True. There's things washing ashore that people don't even know what it is. It's never been studied. What is this animal? That's and true. they look like freaking, I don't know, mermaid monkeys and shit. Because no, it just pops real. out like on my news feed. I, I don't know. And then I, I'm what the type the of person that I see it. I'm like, oh, my God, I need to know more about this. So here I go on YouTube and here I go yeah. on the Internet. And I'm doing research. And when did they discover this? And how... What is it? And da, 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 and that's me. And then I just give myself this full-blown no. panic attack. Like I was saying earlier today, I feel like people that live in Florida yeah. should have an additional check besides your tax, your yearly taxes, because yeah. you're already in danger for the moment you wake up for living in this state. Oh, now, if you want to so like keep us in this tech? state, yes, if you want to keep us in this state, give us an extra income or pay for our health insurance. Yeah, because it, it could be, you, you could be doing regular stuff, bro. Like, you're doing regular stuff, and, like, I stepped outside to go take out trash, and a guan- not a guan- uh, a raccoon was sitting by my trash ready to box me for my trash. I gave it to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he can have it. Yeah. But, like, it could be anything, bro. I, I opened the trash one day, and a big lizard yeah. just popped out. I want to look at my bank statement and see a direct deposit once a month, a hazardous pay. Dude, there you once go. Once a month. There you go. Like I want to see it. But like, yeah, like once a month. Like, thank you for being a resident. Here is $300 you towards survived. your health. Or something. Yeah, you survived 30 days. You survived days. another yeah. month. Here you yes. go. <laughs> it's like Squid Games, you know? Like, we're living in Squid Games in Florida. Okay? This morning, I went and took out my dog's to do their business and these freaking yes. owls just <laughs> screaming and hollering at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. There's no need for me to be half asleep and all I hear is <laughs> across my yard. That is danger. That's yes. a million dollars kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's walking out your dog. Yes, I am sick of yes. it. I am sick of the coyotes coming out at yes. night and attacking our pets. And you know me, I'm an animal lover. Yeah. I'm going to go full blown into that fight if they try to get my pets. Yeah. That's like, come on now. Come on. 
You got everything out here, man. Just... I had one of my team members calling me at 10 o'clock at night talking about there's a coyote in the parking lot. Did you get the wrong number? I'm not animal <laughs> what control. What am I going to do? You better figure <laughs> that out. Yeah. What, what am I going to do? I'm going to come back and wrestle them? And I'm them? tired of these wasps <laughs> building nests inside my oh. garage. First of all, I haven't even opened my garage in two months. How the heck did you even get in here always, and have a full-blown nest? They always And then you want to attack me because I want to <laughs> use my own washer and dryer? How dare you want to walk out your front door comfortably? <laughs> That's what I mean. That, that, I'm telling you. Can I'm, you shoot a flamethrower at those things? Without, like, you might you burn some stuff. They're pretty quick. I'm... I had, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I had I had beef with a wasp on it because it built on the back of my house. It just uh -huh. built the nest, and I was like, I'm gonna leave it alone. I see it being built because you know I go out there and shoot videos every day, and I guess they got comfortable with their nest, and they was like, get away from my house. And I'm like, bro, this is my house. You know what I'm saying? So it, it stung me. It yeah. got me. It, they have it got no me. respect. No, they will sting you. So. It's like I've been a resident here 17 years. Like you've been here two days, and you're yeah. gonna attack me. Exactly. Oh no. You got to move around. Bro. I, should, I should start a wasp business where. I Charge people to get rid of their wasps. Nice. Those things are vicious. I'll they do got, beasts. Yeah. But wasps, those things, have you seen how big they got? Yeah. Like, what happened during COVID that they just grew, like, an extra inch? They yeah. stopped leaving the house. They started eating more. <laughs> so that's what they was doing? Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. like us. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do like the hazardous pay, though. That, that's something that we definitely, mm -hmm. um, because, like I said, you live another month in Florida. And I know people, we used to it. But if you start telling people, like, I think that's why even my videos do so well, because it's like, y'all really live through that? And I'm like, yeah, y'all don't. And they be like, oh, no, y'all don't. Y'all don't get it. We got bugs that you don't even know. Like, I saw a galloping uh, caterpillar. I keep mentioning that. It was galloping across my back. Um, Wait, so that's not the name of the caterpillar? You called it, a, it was a caterpillar No, was it was galloping. galloping. It was coming like across a, the type of like a little mini horse. It was, that's what it looked like. And I'm like, bro, what is that caterpillar doing? And so I moved it back to see it do it again. And it did it again. And I'm like, oh, nah. Like I've never seen that. Like, 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 I just came across some of that. Caterpillar some of that white power. powder. That's, ridiculous. <laughs> that's what it was. By mistake, there was that white powder on the floor, and then <laughs> like the know, cocaine sharks. Know. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So <laughs> when I when I travel and go to different places, like when I went to Costa Rica, you know, there's a lot of wildlife yeah. out there, and I wasn't scared. And people were running, and they're like, "Why are you not scared?" I said, "Cause I'm from Florida." Yeah. Okay, these monkeys stealing from your place not scaring me. Yeah. These other animals that's approaching us, like I just feel like. They don't know who I am. Yeah, like I'm, I'm used to this. Yes. I does this. Yeah. So I'm with you on that. What you got to say? No, I'm good, bro. Because <laughs> I keep getting called negative. So everything's great. I there really are... tell you that you did a great job today, and I appreciate oh. everything that you did. I like Lena. See, this is what I'm saying. I don't know if this is sarcastic. No, no, she oh did for real. I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying okay. I'm skeptical. So I'm gonna just say thank you. I appreciate you observing that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm a pessimist, I guess. So I guess we can end with the Florida man story. Oh my! Which yes. I was ready for this. Yeah, please, please. So this guy, he was he's a you know prison transporter, mm -hmm. a prisoner transporter. So he's transporting prisoners, I guess, to North Carolina. Florida man, he decided mid shift that he just wanted to quit. Mm. Right, he just quit. Now that part I can't blame him. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because I I know we've all been in the. I don't think I ever quit. Have I ever quit mid shift? I definitely I have. So he was like driving and he's like, all right, I quit. So, hey, as soon as I get to where I need to be, I'm going to um, let them I'm know done. I quit, right? That's what he did. And then he got charged with kidnapping. Wait, no, no. But is that what he did? But that's yeah. what I don't understand. No, no, did he, he quit it and continue driving? No, no. He just quit halfway. Like, so, so halfway so until he, he get out the car. The he didn't make it to the destination, though. No. He just oh, left wait. Pomona. I thought he decided, like the regular person does, I quit. But when I get there, I'm going to let him know. Here's my back. No, he no, no, stopped no. the car. And halfway. Quit. And, and quit. And left. Did he leave the, the van and walk out there. the van? He left the van and the prisoners. There. In the van, just chilling. Yeah. But that's not kidnapping. They got It'll be kidnapping. kidnapping if you call and say, hey, I quit. Oh, no, and you not. keep driving the car after you say you quit. Yeah. That is kidnapping that's to kidnapping. me. Well, no, yeah. I think technically it's kidnapping, though, because it's your responsibility from A to B. So if you did not get from A to B, it's still, even though you've decided you quit, true. it's still. That is but true. But that job is for petty, your responsibility. bro. I, did, I, I think I did, I did quit midship. I quit midship before. Um, I was working for it wasn't Direct TV specifically. There was a sub. It was like a subcontract, subcontracted company uh -huh. though. So I, I was working, and they were trying to tell me to get on this ladder and get on top of Gulf Coast Town Center, one of the stores. And but every time I got on this ladder, mind you, I already had almost fell off a roof before, and I was like swinging on the trees. I thought I was Spider Man. So they tell me to, to get up on this ladder, and I'm getting up on the ladder, and the ladder's shaking. Like, every time I go to get up on this ladder, it's moving. Now, now, I know I have to carry this dish and this little mount thing up there. And they was like, you can get up there, and I'm doing this. And I'm like, bro, I can't do this. 
And it was like, well, you're going to do it or you're going to have to get wrote up. So I went home. I parked the van. I put the keys in it. I locked it and said, y'all can come pick up this van. I'm done. It was middle of the ship. I'm just glad they didn't have the power to say like I was theft or anything. But I went home and I locked their keys in their van and I come pick it up whenever y'all ready. I quit. Mm. I went for the... I quit mid-shift. I, what Twice. happened? What happened during that mid-shift? Where, like, what happened that moment that you were like, F this, I quit. What I'm, happened? What are you saying? Him or him? No, like, oh, the guy, guy. The guy, yeah. Like, so, what happened in that van for him that to say true. that? Like, and they have cameras, like, oh, no, so what it. was the reason? What was the straw that broke yeah. the camera's back? I would like to know at some point. But you know like, jobs be playing on your top, so sometimes you just got to... But yeah. you were thinking about this before you transported these people. So why didn't you do it while you were in the facility well, no, maybe picking not, up though. these people? No, maybe not. Maybe something happened in that van yeah. that he was like, oh, no, I'm good. Maybe they, maybe they was like, hey, you got to come pick up these extra prisoners. Like, I'm only scheduled to pick up these prisoners. And they was like, yeah. hey, we, you got to come pick up these extra prisoners. And then he was like, bro, I'm not going to pick up no extra prison. That's going to put me out of day. And they was like, well, you got to do it. And he was like, oh, I got to. I quit. Come pick up y'all van. What mm-hmm. if it was the prisoners in the van, though, that made him quit? I don't think so. Because I think you got to be... You got little kids in the back of school buses that cause people to want to quit. Imagine what? criminals in the back. But kids are different, bro. Well, Whatever. These kids... What if one of them said, yo, I used to mess with, with your girl? I'd rather deal with the criminals than drive a school bus. Exactly. <sighs> exactly. Another Florida thing. You maybe, don't want to be driving these Maybe he found out one of the guys mess with his girl. He's like, yo, that kid that you think is yours, you know, uh, Michael, that's actually my kid. He's like, wait, how you know Michael? And then he starts thinking about it. He's like, oh, snap. He does kind of like Michael. Like the whole... I just yeah. love how we play these scenarios. <laughs> like, <laughs> like we need answers. There's there's cameras in those, yeah, in those bands. Yeah. So this needs to come out sooner or later. What happens? I nah, we would have known already, so I don't know. But y'all ain't never quit a job mid-shift. Twice, no. the same place. No. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> okay. I worked at a place, and then they convinced me to work the overnight shift. And the first day of the overnight shift, I was like, nah. So I just left. No. Doors open. Just left. I had to run a machine that created a circuit. I just left the machine running. And I just texted someone, hey, yo, I'm good, but, you know, the machine's running, so somebody want to go check that out. <laughs> Quit. And Jesus. then two years later, I, they asked me to go back to do a different job. Um, and I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was testing electrical components, and I have to run tests. And but I was like, before I run my test today, I need to get my headphones right and my music. Yeah. And then my supervisor had the nerve to come over and be like, why are you not working? You need to be working. And I was like, I'm just trying to get my music right so I can start working. And he's like, no, you didn't be, need to be more responsible and start working. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> and then I got up and left and never came back. I only quit knowing that I was about to get fired. So I was really fired already. Mm. But I didn't want to feel stupid, so I quit. Pride. Pride yeah, it was. And it was stupid, too. How you knew you were going to quit? Or how you knew you were going to get fired? So it was my, this was my first job when I was, like, 16 or 17. I was working at the Marquee Theater. Okay. Okay? And this is my first job. And, you know, when your friends come in and stuff, you want to do something special for them. So, like, if they order, like, a small popcorn, I would give them medium. Yeah, large, yeah. Oh, yeah. So... That was it. And um, I guess it saw the cameras and what I was calculating into the um, register. So I already knew someone had already told me like, yo, they caught you like basically like stealing food. That's how they said stealing food. And I was like, so they gave me a heads up. So when I got caught into the office, they're like, oh, can you take a seat? And I said that it was like, well, we've been looking at the camera. I said, I quit. <laughs> Flip oh, over everything. Yeah. I quit. Yeah, I quit. Oh, I'm out so of here. So I took off my little burgundy little badge and stuff, and I slammed it on the table, and then I got my last check, and and you know it came in the mail. Yo, mad, mad dog. If you try to turn around on them, this job is preposterous. <laughs> Enough. The way you people do business. And, I mean, so, look at me confused. I, like, what? I I felt like I was doing them a favor because it's still ridiculous to this day that you're paying twenty five dollars for a soda and a small yeah, popcorn. That's true. That's true. I'm not so I was, I was there for the people. Yeah. Mm. Lena is for the people. Way to flip. I'm rolling with that. Way Lena is for flip. the people, y'all. Sounds like somebody else not taking accountability. <laughs> Here you go. You They're know wrong. Lena, you've been boosting him up the whole show. Well, I'm sorry. That wasn't think, against her. I just her. think he's That amazing. wasn't against her. <laughs> so you laughing. Because why are you laughing? Because you can't tell whether this is sincerity or sarcasm. It's one of the S's. It's one of the S's. I'm laughing at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do you he spell has a sense? phase yeah, that reacts before he talks. You. Yeah, man, he's skeptical of everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm very skeptical of everything. I, all right, y'all, so uh, y'all got something I want to leave with the people. 
<laughs> Why you look at that Manny first, Lena? <laughs> Just be on the lookout. Uh, be on the lookout for my feet. Um, and if you say you're part of the fan club, I am going to double check. I'm going to do a background check. The second one, I don't believe it's true. I'm going to do some research. <laughs> believe it's a fake profile. So, But yeah, man, just be on the lookout for my feet. Support. Um, and I appreciate y'all. And, you know, I'm not negative. This is just the way I live my life. And also be in the lookout for a new show that will be airing in um, the beginning of 2025, A Real Chance of Love with Manny. Coming soon. Wait, why are you going to wait to 2025? <laughs> oh, no, we're making this happen. <laughs> <laughs> Real Chance of Love, Manny not. Yeah. Y'all keep saying that, man, but what's going on, man? I'm trying to see what you can find. Because the stuff I'm finding is, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Serial killers. <laughs> Um, what I want to leave with the people is just be positive, y'all. <laughs> Why you looked at me like that, Manny? Oh, okay. I looked straight, but I felt it. You, you I felt, felt it, too, right? Yeah. You just call me negative and you send shots my way. I wasn't oh, whatever. Go ahead, man. That, that wasn't about Throw the you. rock and hide your hand. Let's go. <laughs> right. So y'all <laughs> She might have said, like, hey, don't be a fat Puerto Rican. <laughs> From New York. <laughs> <laughs> With glasses. Coke bottle glasses. Man, shut this down, dog. <laughs> hey, y'all, let's be more positive. Uh, we going positive Python, honey, y'all. We'll see y'all next week, hopefully with a Python wrapped around us. <laughs> like a championship belt, because that's what we do out here. But uh, that's it, y'all. Episode 23, cue my theme music. Oh, my God, it's Wix, Wix.